Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Moon, and as well rising. Weekly tarot reading September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump right, uh, right into it. I think that that's good enough and the first card which represents the very topic the very theme of your week is going to be the eight of pentacles followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here this is going to be uh, the wheel of fortune afterwards what we do have it is the ace of swords which stands for the positive aspect of your week and then the final one is going to be the Five of Wands, which represents the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. Very peculiar. Uh, it's because the Five of Wands came at the end and it kind of contradicts itself with the Wheel of Fortune here on the negative position. But the week is going to be very, very productive nonetheless for you, especially if you are toiling over your business, you know, or you're trying to work the things out into your relationship. Very productive week where you can make the things happen the way you want to make them, okay? But be before we go into that and see how these things plays out, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Eight of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, topic and the general theme of your week, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here of the Wheel of Fortune. Afterwards, we do have the Ace of Swords, which stands for the um, positive aspect of the week. And then the last one is going to be the Five of Wands, which represents the... Um, the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. So, um, now that I run them second time, it does make sense. Actually, they do not contradict. Oh, okay, so it's, it's quite good, guys. It's quite good. But anyway, uh, Eight of Pentacles. Well, it seems that there will be um, quite of a, I don't know how to form it really. So uh, it does look like that whatever endeavors are coming through your way, especially career and relationship wise, you're going to attend them with a, a huge portion of conscientiousness. Uh, that will uh, furthermore increase the reliability you are exerting into either your relationship life or either into your career life. Very important here, however, if is if should you be single this card is a, a call for you to start stepping out of the world showing that you are ready to take love very very important because with this card you are the one who finds all right it's not like someone is gonna find you with the eight of pentacles now this uh, this particular card also it does represent the um the final stage of big planning or in other words something that took a, lot, a long time to be planned now finally can start be manifesting all right or start or can be um yeah it can be initiated into a, a world of manifestation the accompanied card here that we do have it is the nine of uh, cups 
So a long part is awaiting you here, but the, the start is going to be amazing, guys. I mean, very, very quickly, it does look like that you are going to make a fast progress career or relationship wise. And should you be single, for example, the very first couple of, day of, of days of the week, it does look like that you are going to make strong impression into people and you are to find someone that you are going to uh, experience that glee, joy, you know, and, and it's like a, I don't want to say wish fulfillment, okay, but you are going to get into each other, okay, it's like liking each other a lot. Now from there, however, it does require a um, attempt or rather like actions, this thing to be secured and consolidated, all right? So it's, it, it, it's like the opportunity is there, but you need to do, uh, you need to work for it to manifest itself. The next one, which is the challenge that you need to overcome, that is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune here, it does says that there will be many things for you to do. So many that probably you will not have a time and a chance, you know, to um, research or rather uh, explore all of these, um, all of these opportunities or all of these endeavors. This card could point that you're going to be so busy at your work that is just is going to overwhelm you to a such an extent that probably, you know, you will have to work extra hours or you will have to go that yeah it's kind of like working a an extra hours i the worst thing as a, a negative position is none of this is going to make any difference okay if you hoping that because you are giving an, an extra hours into your career is going to make a big impression into your boss such big impression that they are going to offer you a promotion it's unlikely that this is going to happen throughout this week it's basically if that's the case with your career there is a job that has to be done and it has to be done you know it is it is in in your contract and your boss doesn't care if you have to spend more time at your work to do it so <clears throat> that being said um Investing more than you have to is something that is not going to pay off. So you need to be careful, you know, how much you throw yourself into things, especially if you expect that um, a reward are going to come, uh, are going to come in your way. For example, you know, you work extra hours without negotiating this work to be paid, you know, and you expect that your boss out of your good, out of its good heart, you know, is going to give you the money, is going to pay you for it. That's not going to happen. Um, so should you have to kind of like do a, a bigger, bigger performance into your career or into your relationship, you need to negotiate the rules over it. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of Pentacles. Speaking of the devil, we do have a active neutrals and it's, it's definitely a that these situations where people, you know, can't afford to pay you more or to invest more in you, for example, emotional investment, it's just they're not going to do it should you offer yourself for free, all right? Because if you don't, once again, if you have to work extra hours, if you don't mention it to your boss and if you don't ask for how you're going to be compensated, you're not going to be compensated. So you need to ask for what you think you're worth here throughout uh, throughout this week. That is the challenge uh, for you guys. Now, the next one, uh, which is the uh, positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the um, <clears throat> Ace of Swords. So very um, unbreakable mental strength it is that you're going to have very analytical mind, which will allow you to very quickly identify how to tackle with certain endeavors, you know, with certain tasks as well or responsibilities which is going to make you very, very efficient. And uh, on top of that, with the Ace of Swords, it does look like that you're going to be very good into negotiations. That's why you need to negotiate your way through, okay? Even though uh, your skills or kind of like your, um, your actions, I don't know how to say it here, uh, your investments are going to be taken for granted by default. You can definitely negotiate your way through to get paid more than you are investing. So, you know, uh, when you think that something is unfair or when you think that you are under undermined or undervalued here, raise your voice about it because definitely people are going to hear about it. The accompanied card here, it is the Queen of Swords. Oh my God, that is very, <clears throat> that is very strong here, guys. We do have a active supporters 
huge impulse for you to align yourself with exactly how the situation is, all right? Being very agile, being very adaptable, while in the same time drawing experience from a past failures of yours, not allowing to repeat the same mistake twice, and thanks to that, being capable to push anything through, all right? attending to the minor details of the work uh, of the work or of your relationship being able to do what you want to do the way you want to do it and the last one that we do have it is the five of uh, wands so that is the guidance well the five of, of wands here tells you that there will be many surprises throughout the weeks those surprises should not be faced with any biased expectations all right those surprises could be anybody's guess it tells you that it's going to be a very very dynamic week and as a guidance you know you shouldn't um how do i say it um how do you say when you expect something to happen and you pretty much bet your horse on it but at the last moment it kind of happens other way around so up until the very last moment up until the job or you know the endeavor or the enterprise is done you should not drop off your performance here you should not you should not let your guard down all right because anything can happen that is <clears throat> that is in place for the good enterprises or for the pleasant enterprises and for the unpleasant as well and this card is especially strong you know if you are working against the clock if you are working uh, against odds because it does point you know that through a surprising events you can actually end up um, on the upper hand all right or you can actually get the edge here the accompanied card it's the eight of uh, cups the formation it is a um, active enemies that we do have uh well it's like with aries but with different co different combination you shouldn't give up all right just uh, but with aries was because of a different reasons in you the reasons are that anything can happen all right and even if that thing that you are working over even if for example your partner into your relationship looks ho hopeless right now and you are ready to leave all right even if the project that you are working over it seems uh, destroyed and you have to drop it off you can't do that until um, until it's pretty much the deal is sealed do not bail out that is the point here but because at the end of the day something can happen and with this with these cards it is very likely to happen that will give you exactly what you need to triumph in every endeavor that you do but the most important thing throughout the week guys is that you need to place in motion a, a plan that took a long time to be prepared and start negotiating your way through so that being said Taurus this was your weekly tarot reading for a September 2nd to September 8 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye